How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Morning Vibe, the Wednesday edition. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. Sorry about the lack of upload on Monday this week. I was actually um, on the road. I was out in Oklahoma with the Arms family shooting a couple videos out there. We did end up doing a live feed on Facebook on Saturday, so hopefully you guys were able to catch that over on the Cameraman Run Facebook page. And speaking of Facebook, that is what we are talking about today, guys. There's no other way to put it. Facebook made me quit. Facebook has officially made me quit uploading content, video content, I should say, to their platform. And we're just going to dive right into it. Not not really a lot to report on this past weekend. Um, they really did have the, they had the mullet toss here in the Pensacola area. Not a lot really else going on. So I um, hope you guys that, you know, that are from here, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're from somewhere else, hope you had a great weekend. Most places down here in our area had beautiful weather this weekend. We had some beautiful weather out in Oklahoma while I was there. Um, but I want to dive right in and start talking about why Facebook made me quit. So if you do follow along on the Cameraman Ron page, we upload universally on YouTube and on Facebook. The Facebook is always like a condensed down version of the videos. They're much shorter, um, but they're very similar to the videos that we put on the YouTube platform. They're just a little bit shorter, uh, more compact, a little bit more you know quick and to the point, um, just because that's what the algorithm on Facebook really, really enjoys. Um, what, and we're, we're monetized on both platforms on YouTube and on Facebook or was, I should say, um, as of November of last year, I uh, just woke up one morning randomly and I was demonetized on Facebook. Our Facebook page had been demonetized. Um, and the only reason that I got was that we weren't following partner monetization, uh, policies which is like literally a about 150 page, you know, policy chart on their thing. No, not exactly what we were doing. So I started diving into it because, you know, everything we upload on that platform is, you know, it's kosher. We it's a very wholesome. We don't cuss. We don't do shock value stuff. We don't promote violence. Um, there's nothing that we do that would cause us to get our page shut down. We've never even gotten a monetization strike over there. I don't put any music on that, that page. Um, we've never gotten, you know, a, a warning for you know, like content detrimental or what anything like that. We've never gotten a warning whatsoever. So I appeal their decision it immediately gets denied, which tells me that an AI looked at it, not a real person. It's like, Hey, you can, you know, you can reappeal in 90 days, but that's all we got for you. So I get on there and I start chatting, never can get a, a true definition of exactly what happens. Well, long story short, this has been going on for six months. And I finally, I, I reappealed it two days ago. Um, the, the appeal got denied again. I've, I've still yet to be told exactly what's going on on our Facebook page. So I finally get a hold of somebody in a chat. And when I say I get a hold of somebody, it very easily could be um, a bot. I don't know that I'm talking to a real person. The AI bots have gotten so advanced that you really don't know whether you're talking to a real person or not. So, um, and they told me that I was flagged for using content that was not original and I have never, and they won't, and again, they won't tell me what content they're talking about. I have no content that's been flagged whatsoever. Um, but that's their reasoning. Now, why I'm so upset about all this is the fact that for the last six months, Facebook has continued to run ads on my videos, which means they're getting paid for advertising on my videos on their platform, but they're not doing the revenue sharing with me, which is what you agree to when you go on. That's how it works on every platform. They run the ads, they keep a percentage, they give you a percentage. Everybody goes home happy. That's how content creators make money um, between that and sponsorships. Well, they have not been paying me for six months, but yet they've continued to run ads on my videos, which they deemed inappropriate for monetization, which means if it's inappropriate for monetization, they shouldn't be running ads on it either, which they are. Um, so I, basically I got to a point where I had just spent way too much time, energy and effort on fighting with them on this. So th that was kind of my last straw. I've never uploaded content to my Facebook page that was not mine filmed by me. We don't do reaction videos to other people's content. I've never done one of those. Everything that we have uploaded on that channel has either been Sarah, myself or the boys, um, so there's nothing, or, you know, somebody that was participating in a video with us, but everything I've ever uploaded on that platform was something that I filmed with my cameras. Um, so it's not like it was not my footage. Um, so I'm not sure where they got that, where it came from, but I put out a post and I told people, you know, if you, if you do watch this stuff over on Facebook, obviously you guys are seeing this on YouTube on the morning vibe. Um, 
you know, make sure you subscribe to the Cameraman Ron channel. That's where we're going to be uploading all of our video content from now on. There will be no more video content put on the Facebook page whatsoever. With that being said, we will still utilize the Facebook page because we have a huge following there. We'll still post pictures and stories and stuff like that. Um, and we'll use that to let you guys know when we do upload to the main channel over on the YouTube side of things over here on YouTube. But it was just at a point where I couldn't spend any more time or energy on it. It was literally taking so much time on certain days where I would spend all day sitting there fighting with Facebook, trying to get this re resolved. And it's been going on for six months and it's just, you know, I'm at a point where it's, it's just not worth it. You know, I can't continue to expel energy and time and that kind of stuff on that platform when I'm getting nothing back from them. There's no customer support whatsoever on Facebook. Um, and, and, you know, I'm not bashing Facebook. I'm just giving you guys my story. The other side of that was it's not just me. There's I, I talk to other creators that this is happening to right now that's in totally different genres than me. Um, I, and I, I don't want to like throw their name out there simply because these are private conversations that I've had with other creators. I'm not going to you know say their name, but I have had conversations literally in the last two days with two much larger creators than myself, both of them experiencing the same issues on their Facebook page where Facebook is telling them that their, their, their content is not suitable for monetization or that they're not following partner monetization policies, whatever that means. Um, and it's just not true. It, it's just, they're just keeping all the money. Um, and you know, I, not saying it's right, not saying it's wrong. I understand we don't have to pay to upload these platforms, but the bottom line is if you're going to run ads on my videos, on my content that I make, then yes, you are going to pay me. If not, then you're not. And then the kicker is, I told Sarah yesterday, I'm like, I'm going to go in and I'm going to delete all the content on our Facebook page. That way they cannot, because they're continually, like I still have videos that will take off that they're pushing that are months old. Like literally there'll be a year old video and Facebook will start pumping it out again because it was a popular video. I mean, I had a video last week that was over a year old and it got 250,000 views last week. Um, and so they're still pushing this content. They're still running ads on it, but they're not paying us. So I went in and I started deleting all my videos. I got through about 10 of them and then Facebook shut it down. They wouldn't let me delete any more videos. So again, there's another strike against them. This is my content, 100%. If I don't want it to be on Facebook anymore, there should not be anything they can do that restricts me from deleting that content off of their platform. But and, and I went back in and tried to delete some more today and it wouldn't let me. It said something has went wrong. Da, da, I don't know exactly what it said, but they're trying to restrict me from deleting my own videos off of my page now. Um, so it's it's just kind of a mess. We will continue to utilize Facebook for live feeds. We do a lot of live feeds over there. Um, we will definitely continue to post pictures because we do like communicating with you guys You know, on the cameraman Ron side of things on Facebook. Um, that's very, very important to us um, You know, from a standpoint of being able to have contact with our audience and that Facebook's a great way to do that because you can send direct messages on Facebook. People can message us. They can contact us. We really do try to read every one of those um, and reply to you guys the best we can. YouTube, you can comment. Um, and I usually try to reply to your comments, but there's not really a way on the YouTube platform and probably for the best for people to do like a direct message system. Um, so, you know, there's not really a way to contact us directly through the YouTube platform where Facebook, you can use messenger and those tools that are over there. Um, to to have an access line to us. And like I said, we do try to respond to everybody. Um, of course, if I'm on the road or something like that, that people always ask me why I reply a lot sometimes and why I don't. Basically, if I'm on the road, like when I was out at Daniel's place this past weekend, I had no reception whatsoever down at the creek. So it's really, really hard for me to, when I get back to a place that has reception and I've got 150 Facebook messages, it's very, very difficult for me to get to them all at that point. If I don't keep up with them as we go, um, it becomes a very, very difficult process to try to catch up. And it's just something I just can't do. So I try to answer them as they come in. Um, but sometimes, you know, we just can't. Um, but you can continue to message us over there on the Cameraman Ron page. We, like I said, we love chatting with you guys. We love getting feedback from you on videos. Um, but as far as seeing new content on that platform, you will not be seeing that any longer um, by any stretch of the imagination. I, I've, I've fought that fight as long as I'm willing to fight it. Um, and I simply just can't expel the energy to do that anymore. So with that being said, a couple couple things. Um, there was a couple people that jumped on like, oh, start a Patreon. That's what I, I don't want to start a Patreon. That's not not what we're looking to do. There's there's two things that you guys can really do to help us out with 
this shift because it is a loss of income. We're not looking for donations. We don't need no donations. We have, we're fine with our wedding industry. That's not where this is going. So don't tune out. Um, what I'm talking about helping us with is 100% not going to cost you a penny. Number one, the PYT is so close to getting monetized on her YouTube channel. So um, she's already met the subscriber threshold. She just needs to watch time. So by all means, if you got it, if you haven't watched the PYT's videos, go check them out, click on them, watch them. Let's get her watch time up there. She's very, very close to being monetized. When her page get or when her channel gets monetized on YouTube, that's basically going to replace that Facebook income almost immediately. So um, that will help out. Obviously, once we get this channel up to a thousand subscribers, get the watch hours up on it, um, we will have this this channel monetized as well. And that at that point, we won't even realize that the Facebook income is gone. Uh, but it's just one of those things we just we can't do it any longer. So um, I hope you guys understand. I truly do. If you're watching from the Facebook side of things, and that's where you you know you catch our most of our long form content on the Cameron Ron channel, I, I do apologize. Um, but it's just one of those things that I just I can't fight them anymore. Um, we, we've got a path laid out for ourselves this year. We got a lot of big goals and that's what we want to focus on. Not fighting with, um, a big corporation trying to get pennies from them, which, you know, that is owed, but it's for them, it's just a drop in the bucket. They don't care about it. Um, they obviously do not care about the smaller creators and heck, they must not care about their bigger creators because they can't get through to them either. So guys, that's all I got for you today. I know this was a little bit of a rant. I hope you truly enjoyed this video. <laughs> just me like screaming at Facebook. Um, we will be back on Friday morning with a much more fun, lighthearted, podcast. I promise you guys that. So you guys stay tuned. If you're new here to the cameraman, oh, no, wrong, wrong channel. If you're new here to the morning vibe, sorry, I've been doing this a lot the last couple of days. If you're new here to the morning vibe, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure you find a way to make somebody smile today. You never know. It just might change the world. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care and we will see you soon.